Here at the Big Wall tonight with big, beautiful animals. These are Bengal tigers that were rescued from a circus in Guatemala. And new here tonight, J.J. Burton taking you there for their arrival in Tampa. And meet Kimba, Simba, and well, Max is in the crate. He didn't want to come out. I can't really blame him, considering the conditions these tigers were living in in Guatemala. Big Cat Rescue Chairman Howard Baskins says they were forced to perform in a circus. They also were beaten in the circus. One of them, the youngest, when ADI went to the circus after negotiating to get them, they had to physically stop one of the circus people from beating the three-year-old with an iron rod. I mean, that's the way they treat them in the circus. And back in 2017, Guatemala joined 40 other countries, making it illegal for tigers to be a part of a circus act. Circus officials, instead of getting rid of them, Baskin says some of them started to hide those tigers, like these three. They stuck these cats at a roadside zoo, as we understand it, where they were not properly fed, they were starving, they had an individual who was not trained to deal with them, feeding them, and he, didn't, he made a mistake, and the, the tigers ripped his arms off. And look at that beauty over there. That's Simba. He's the lucky one. He has this pin all to himself. This is vacation rotation, and he'll be here for 30 days two acres of land all to himself. For the first time, these guys will be on, on dirt and grass. They'll have a natural enclosure. They'll have large enclosures. And again, Simba will stay there for 30 days, and then they'll swap him out with another one, vacation, rotation. The uh, folks here at Big Cat will work with each tiger to get them acclimated to this environment. Reporting in Tampa, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.